Hi. Thank you for watching our video on the top 5 theory test questions forklift drivers often get wrong, and the answers. Before we dive in, the entire team at Angus Lift Trucks would like to thank you for watching this video. We are a well-established forklift truck company in the Midlands, with over 30 years of experience in providing services from forklift hire, sales, maintenance, and repairs, to training on all types of forklifts. We are also accredited and provide CPC and first aid training. Our experts are always on hand for free, no obligation quotes at our shops in Hinkley, Leicestershire, and Ilkeston, Derbyshire. Of course, do share and like this video, it really motivates us to do more similar videos. Without further ado, let's dive in. 1. Before operating a forklift in a work environment, who does the operator need to get written authorization from? Forklift operators need to have written permission from their employers. Operating a forklift without written authorization could result in termination and void of your certification. When taking the forklift truck theory test, note that it's the responsibility of the employer, not the forklift training instructor, to issue an authorization to operate. All operators need one, whether they use a forklift full-time, occasionally, or very rarely. Authorization is specific to the tasks the operator completes. 2. What is meant by the term load center? It is a measurement from the front face of the fork arms back to the center of gravity of the load being carried by the forklift. Knowing the load center is essential for maintaining stability as it represents the forklift's tipping point. If exceeded, it can result in injury and damage to the load and forklift truck. When answering forklift test questions, be aware that load centers change depending on what's being lifted and how. 3. What is an approved code of practice? This code is the practice of advising duty holders on complying with legislation. The approved code of practice ensures a safe working environment and knowledgeable forklift operators. The Health and Safety Executive Code is aimed at employers and people responsible for the safe operation of forklifts. This includes those in charge of work sites, the self-employed, managers, and supervisors. It gives guidance on training, forklift features, safe use, protecting pedestrians, and the maintenance and thorough examination of forklifts. 4. Concerning lift trucks, what does it mean to free lift? Free lift is the distance the forks can raise up before the mast starts to extend. Free lift is crucial to understand and study because it will prevent tipping and hazardous forklift accidents. Forklifts with limited free lift need more overhead space so the mast can raise higher than the load when lifting it. The forks and trucks with full free lift can raise higher without the mast extending, so are better and safer to use in places that have restricted overhead space. 5. When transporting a palletized load, how much back tilt is required? The back tilt must be sufficient to cater to the type of load as well as the ground conditions. When determining tilt and load capacity, you always need to account for the environment the machine operates on. Only use enough back tilt to stabilize the load, otherwise, the forklift will become unbalanced. To avoid instability, never use the full range of tilt with the forks raised loaded or unloaded. The heaviest part of the load should be up against the carriage when the mast is tilted back. So, to wrap up. These are only five of the many theory test questions forklift drivers often get wrong and answers. If you are looking for a more comprehensive review of the top forklift theory questions drivers get wrong, do have a look at our detailed Article 20 Theory Test Questions Forklift Drivers Often Get Wrong and Answers, which includes detailed information and many practical tips. See the link in the description. Of course, if you are looking for more videos on all things forklifts, from the funniest forklift jokes to theory test questions forklift drivers often get wrong, do subscribe to our channel and like or share our video. Do check out some of the most popular articles on our blog, see links in the description. Finally, if you consider hiring a forklift, buying a new or a used one, jumping OA new maintenance contract, or training on any type of forklift or CPC training, do give our team a call.